Hi guys, well in this video we're going to show you how to build uh, this particular website. Um, I'm going to show you some tricks that I use all the time uh, to basically align images, um, add uh, lines, etc. Um, into a website and I think you'll find that these little tricks are really really helpful. I use them on basically every website I've built. So this is the website we want to build and this is the template that we're starting with. Okay, looks a lot different obviously. I like this template because uh, it's very flexible and I understand it. The first thing we need to do is we need to upload all our photos that we want to use to our uh, photo gallery. Okay, so we get them all up there and then they're there. Now I've broken them into pages so I've got my home page that I want so I know where I want to find it and I've got my demo builder. They're my pages. Okay, so we've got all our photos up there. The first thing we want to do is change the image. Okay, um, that's going to make a big difference. So we click on change image, we go to our uploaded file, we go to home page and we get this image here which is just an image I found. I really love it and it fits perfectly with this website. Okay, So that's what we're going to use. As you'll see it loads and it loads with our header title in the middle of it. Now there's a lot of options here depending on what picture you're using you can then change your header title uh, which you do by going to site wide settings you go to heading and then you must put your header title in and your subtitle etc. In this case, I don't want any header title. So what do I do? I go here and I go none. I click changes and voila, it's fixed. So we're starting to look like our website. Okay. I've already done the menu. We'll deal with that in another um, video. So you know how to create a menu now. It's pretty simple. You know how to create pages. You simply, you know, um, uh, add a page if you want. It's pretty simple. You just sort of go to pages and you add a page. Okay, so you know how to do all that but we'll deal with that in another video. So we've added our header image and we've got rid of our title so it's starting to look like what we want. Uh, in here we want to add our next fit, uh, picture so we want to add content. You will know how to do this. Now these are the three major tools that I use or content boxes that I use when I'm building a website. Your text content, your Java script and HTML code which I'll show you which is a really really helpful tool um, and single image. In here we want a single image. We want it in here. Simply go there, uploaded photos, we go to our home page and we pick the image that we want. Now in this case it's this fella here from memory. No, it's this one here. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Now a good trick here when you're putting in an image is you can size it. If you make it really small and then you'll see in a minute you can actually resize it in the page uh, once you've already saved it. If you make it small and then you make the image bigger later on it'll pixelate. So it's better to actually leave the picture a little bit bigger than what you want. Insert your image. This is the time that you decide whether you want it to the left, to the right or in the middle. Okay. If you save it and you wanted it in the middle, for some reason this option disappears. It's easier just to delete the photo and start again if, if it's that middle that you want. Don't ask me why it does it. It's uh, just the way it is. Okay, so what was I talking about with sizing the images? Okay, well there's my image. By clicking on the image I then get these little boxes which we're all familiar with and I can make that image a little bit smaller and I can see it in my page. Okay, so yep, okay, that looks about what I want. The next thing I want to do is I want to add a um, I'm just removing the component that was there. I want to add a image over here. Now if we go back to the website that we want to build, we want to add this little man. Okay. So let's have a look. How do we do it? Well, it's the same old, same old. We go to content, we get a single image, we put it here on our page. We get our uploaded photos. We get our home page and we click our little man. Now all of this you're fairly familiar with because it's all in the basic uh, website builder video that we've done. Now there's our little man. Okay. Um, 
but he's too high on the page. If we have a look here, he's down the page further. And this is one of the tricks I want to show you. How do we get him down the page? Okay, so go add content, content, and this one here, HTML code. I'm going to show you how to write, write some very, very basic HTML code. Don't put a title in and just put an arrow, BR for break, page break, BR. And then if you want, that, that gives you one page break. If you want more than that, you just repeat it. Okay, each time with an arrow. And you create your component, and our little man has just moved down the page. Okay, so it's starting to look a fair bit like, um, you know, the page that we wanted, which is this page over here. Okay, so there's that page, and there's the page we're creating. So as you can see, it's really just through adding these three little tools, it's starting to look like what we want. So what do we want next? Okay, we want a couple of these lines. These are really helpful. I like them. They break up pages, um, give, give us a bit of definition. Add content. Text box, decide where you want it. In this case, we want it here. And it's that little tool right there, or that little icon right there. So we can add one line, or we can add two lines, or we can add ten lines. And there we have it. Okay. What's the next thing we want to add? Okay, we want to add Alex in here. So let's set about doing that. So we add content. <coughs> We want to add a image. We'll place it here. Go to our photos. Select Alex. And again, very comp uh, repetitive. Once you've got used to doing it, it's very, very, very simple. Now, in this case, we want to add some text. There's a couple of ways we can do it, because if we go back to what we're building, we want it to say, Alex says, blah, 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 or says, um, how do we do it? There's a couple of ways you can do it. First of all, I could simply add another text box and put it above, uh, above that, so I could put it in here, which will give us the result. We don't want to put, we can put it in title. If you put it in title, it'll only ever come up whatever that setting is in black and it'll always be to the left or white or whatever the header title is or context uh, box title is. If you want to add colour then you've really got to um, add it in here and then you can select all your fonts and sizes. Okay, But I happen to know that if we do that it's going to set it down the page. I know that already. So how, there's another way we can do it. Click edit. Go to Alex move her down the page a bit we'll put our text in there, we go back to our asset file, this is our asset file of everything we want that's what we want whoops command C we go back here command V and then we simply center it and it's done Okay. then we want to put the writing underneath so we take this is just a word document it's got all, all the wording that I want and I simply put that underneath okay, I want it to get up a little bit and there we have it I want to centre the wording so I go centre not so much maybe we put it like that save ok and now we've got it starting to look like it was but again we need a gap in here to move Alex down the page a bit. Okay, how, how do we do it? Well, we can go back to here, we can add our HTML, same. Or, another way you can do it, once you start to get a few components, we can just duplicate it. Copy component, and it'll add it there. You grab it, move it down the page, throw it in there, and it's done. So there we have it. Uh, next thing we want to do is we want to add our pictures over here. Now look, this is an important one because there's um, a couple of ways we can do this, right? And after playing with the website builder a fair bit, I've found what I consider to be the easier way to make something like this happen. And let me show you how that is, okay? So, we want to add a component. 
we start with a text box and we add that here. Okay, now you're thinking, okay, we want two things going on here, but we've only got one text box. I find that by using this, two images or four, six, whatever we want in here is a really cool way of doing it. You don't have to add images. In this case we do, we want to put out a little fellow, the duck. But on the other part, we actually want to put some text, and we can do that. So let me show you how that works. Okay, now he's way too big, I reckon, about that size. Okay, I'm just guessing the size, because I can actually play with that a bit later on. Now here, I delete, this is where we want our text, okay? I delete the image. I simply grab the text that I want, which in this case is this okay just have to think there command c and then we simply insert it and there you have it okay now we'll save that for a second once again you're always just playing with it okay now click on my little box click on my man Make them a little bit smaller. Make that about where I want it. And now I need to edit this. Okay, and I'm going to go to edit because I want to change this. Okay, so I've got it in bold. I want my font color. I want it to be a dark gray. I want the font to be Georgia and I want my size to be, I don't know, about 14, no, maybe a bit bigger, that's 18, okay, here we want to do the same thing, okay, so now I'm just editing the same as I would in Word, I want my font colour to be a bit lighter, I want my font to be Georgia, I want uh, my size, in this case, to be about 16, okay, and same. Again, I'm guessing a bit of what I'm doing. And all I'm doing is I'm balancing out. So I'm happy now with that. You see it's balancing out to the size of my photo. You will admit it's not exactly the same as I have over there. So again, I can change that. Okay, we're starting to get back to how it looked over here. Now I've got to put the title in. Okay, so there's a couple of ways again that I can put the title in. I could add another text box. Or I can simply put the title above it. Okay, so just down one space, grab my title, which is up here, go to my website, and put my title in there. Now I just need to make it as big as I want it to be. I'm actually fairly happy with that size anyway, but uh, just make sure we've got everything right. Same font. Um, and I'm thinking maybe 20. Let's see, have a look at what it looks like. Okay. And yeah, it's getting pretty close. Now, I could fiddle around with it a bit more. I think that font size there needs to be a little bit bigger. I'm just really doing this at the moment just to show you how easy it is to really just fiddle around, get it looking how you want. I think that's going to be too big. Okay, so we'll leave it there. Okay, and get it looking how you want, okay? Um, pretty happy with all of that. This would, I, I want to make that text a little bit bigger, but, you know, we're not going to worry about that right now. We're not here to show you that. But again, it's just fiddling around until I get it to balance out on the page how I want it to look. The big thing being that we wanted to show you was the spaces. And again, using this same format, we create this next box, okay? Now I had to think a little bit here because I can add that, I can add that, and I can add that, but I wanted it to balance out on the page, So, and I've got a right-hand column, so I had to put this picture into the column. Okay, so how did we do it? Again, it was really simple. We just went text box, put it where we want to put it. Okay, and in this case, we just 
uh, basically put our wording in, which is this wording here. Okay, and we just put it in. And then we just added our picture. So image, uploaded, home page, and it was this little fella here. Make them quite small. And insert them. That's a couple of seconds for them to load. Okay, so there he is. Okay, so then we want to add our next bit of wording, which was this. If you can do this, you can do this. Oops. And we just simply add our wording. Okay, and then we add our next picture, making sure that we go to the right space. Add our picture. Which is that one. Now you'll notice I'm not worrying about getting it exact at this time. Okay, that's going to be too big though. Um, because I can adjust it once I set it all. Okay, so there's my picture. Okay, there's my picture. We can see it's way too small, big, I should say. Okay, so now I want to ask uh, if you could do this. Da, 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 and then there's our last bit of text. And we want to put that in there. Okay, create component. And there you have it. Okay, this one here has not come out the way we want it. Okay, so we would have to edit it. Okay, we're editing the wrong one. Helps if you edit the right one. Okay, so don't ask me why. I don't know that that didn't go. Sometimes it's just the way it is. And you know why? Because we're building websites. And they can be temperamental sometimes. Like that. Okay, so in this case here, we're just going to make all the the same. You see, now I'm editing this on the page. That's because. I want to and it looks better. I want to add a couple of lines. It gives me a much better idea of how my page is looking. If I want to make my little man a bit smaller, I can. If I want to put a space in there, I can. And then, you know, again, I want to make that a bit, little bit smaller. So you can see, it's really, really easy. I'm starting to get the look that I want. I need a couple of breaks, clearly. I need this break here. Well, that's what I want. So I just double it and then I just grab it, pull it down throw it in here. Okay, that's starting to look better. Over here I want to add this picture and by now I think you've pretty well got the idea. Okay, it's pretty simple. It's add a single picture, throw it in here, select our picture, go to our home page and the last one was this one. This picture, interestingly enough, was actually, a, I made this picture using Photoshop. Um, and, you know, that's another video that we'll do because these are great tools. And, uh, you know, if you use Photoshop or something like Again, it's not quite where I want it. But once you learn to use Photoshop or something like it, you can really create some amazing stuff. But, you know, you can also find it on the internet really, really easy. I want to bring that down a little bit. Easiest way to do that for me is, um, is Jupyter duplicate my code, my H HTML code, it's the easiest way, grab it, bring it down, put it in there, okay, now it's interesting, it's too far down the page, so I edit my box, take it, take one out, a page break out, eh, still too far down the page, another one out, Perfecto. And there we have it. Our website is really starting to look very, very much like the website that we wanted, which is over here, as you can see. So quite simple, nothing hard about it. 
um, and it's just duplication, duplication, duplication. With those three tools and those three content boxes that I use just about all the time, okay, that you, you can build just about anything. It's really amazing. But I want to show you one last thing and then we're finished. Image gallery. Okay, this is a really cool tool. I'm going to throw this just in here just for the sake of it because um, I just want to show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I've selected my image gallery which has got all my photos in it, whether it be 5, 10, 20, whatever it may be. I then select how I want it to look, random, all in equal boxes, whatever particular style I want. Okay, in this case I'm selecting that and I decide do I want it four columns wide, three columns wide and it changes the size of the pictures. Okay, in this case I'm going to leave it four. Okay. Insert it, and I want you to watch this because it is amazing. Here's your image gallery. Now obviously I start balancing this out by moving the photos around. How do you, how do you fix it? It's really simple. So if I want to balance it out, I add a couple more photos. But the other way you can do it is you simply go to your photo media photo gallery. This has got all the photos in it. This guy here is a fairly long photo so I'm going to put him over there and done and then what will happen you'll see we refresh the page just by changing that one photo it's changed everything. Okay so that's how you arrange your photos in your photo gallery. You simply go to your photos and media, go to your photo gallery that you've organized for that and then you simply just change it around. Um, this one here, you know, we're going to maybe put it to there now. You click done. Uh, you will need to refresh the page, right, because it's, it's still on, you know, how it was before. Once you refresh the page, there's our photo gallery. Okay, so a really, really cool tool this, and you can fiddle around with it. We used it um, on a model site that we did, and it just was absolutely amazing. So that's it, guys. Um, I'm really happy with this website. I think it's a fun website. I think I've shown you some really cool tricks. And with those basic three tricks, you will be able to build some really amazing websites. So have fun. Enjoy it. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at support at yoursocialdomain.com. Bye for now.